Because as I said to my wife, I fear that this is really hoping Sigourney Weaver will die soon so they can start using her likeness. Hello, this is Anis83, and I've just come back from the theater, and I've seen Romulus, Alien Romulus from 2024, and I enjoyed it, 6 out of 10. Now let's go to the spoilers. Yes, uh, I am an Alien fan. I'm sure there are bigger fans than me. I have, have bought many versions of Aliens throughout the years. Right now I have the five film collection, but I have had Alien Legacy, I think. Uh, and it was uh, not as good as Alien Quadrology. And this is basically Alien Quadrology on Blu-ray. I also got this one. Uh, Alien uh, Covenant. And I also got games. Alien vs. Predator, which I, I think I've played it on my channel. Also, Alien Isolation. I'm not a fan of this one at all. But I always plan on giving it another try, but you know. And then this one, which I think got too much hate. I played the entire game on my channel. Uh, if you want to watch it, go right ahead and watch it. I have also made uh, four or five Dr. D talk about movies and TV where we talk about all the movies except Covenant, which I actually did a recording of, but um, I tried to edit it, but it was too much cringe. I took the recordings four years ago. The plan was actually to make a uh, release of Dr. D and me talk about movies and TV about Alien Covenant when the next movie came out, which is this one. But I couldn't be bothered. There were some good ideas there that we shared and talked about, but uh, the, the format of Dr. D and me talk about movies and TV doesn't work anymore. I'm way too old <laughs> to behave and talk like that. Anyway, moving on to the movie now. Alien Romulus. Yes, so I enjoyed Alien Romulus somewhat. I am rather ambivalent about it. There are so many different sides of this. But let's start with just the beats of it. I enjoyed the beginning. I really enjoyed the beginning. It was a slow burn. To not just start to throw things in our face. You know like modern movies are now. You need to keep the audience uh, focused. So it allowed itself to build up characters. Build the universe. Put the setting. The premise. The characters dreams and ambitions. And then they start also start to build a mystery, the space station, what it's about, what's going on there. Again, great. And then I enjoyed seeing the actor Ian Holm again as he played Rook, which was basically a copy of Ash from the first Alien movie, uh, the android there. Although it was on Kenny Valley, the... They really don't make it look real yet, which I guess is good. I s slowly start to get the suspicion that, and I was wondering, could it be? Is Disney that evil? And yes, as it would turn out, Disney has digged up the corpse of Einholm and put it on screen. Because he died in 2020, so there's no way that this actor took any part in this movie. And as it says on IMDb, it says, Einholm as Rook, facial and vocal reference. It's, um... It's disturbing. And this they have done it a lot now. I remember they're doing it in Star Wars Rogue One. I think they did it twice in that one. They did it uh, first with that, uh, I can't name the character, but you know that evil general from uh, the original Star Wars movie. And then they, I think they also did it with um, Leia. Carrie Fisher. But I think the actress was still alive. So, you know, it was just de-aging, which I think is better. I think that's, actually, I think that's fine. If the actor is alive, you can do whatever you want as long as they allow it. If they think it's fine, then I have no quarrels with it. But they need to be alive. And then they've done it one more time, if I remember correctly. Which one was that? If you know, when you write it in the comment section below. Also, tell your friends. 
and it it's not right. Perhaps uh, I can find it online how they went about getting the rights for Ian Holm. <laughs> I would hope that there were some red tape. They needed to do something to get the rights to his appearance. I hope so that the Disney can't just because, as I said to my wife. Uh, I, I fear that this is really hoping Sigourney Weaver will die soon so they can start using her likeness. I mean, it's disturbing. It's not right. It's unethical. Now, there are plenty of ways to solve this. First of all, you didn't need the Ash character. You could have used uh, Lance Henriksen, for instance, or um, Fassbender. There are all kinds of uh, androids from uh, the Alien franchise they could have used instead of a dead actor. Moving on. Yes, I, and I remember now, uh, the last one they used is, I think, the voice of Darth Vader. I think they use, but he's still alive, if I remember correctly, uh, the actor. But they used his uh, voice, just like AI. I find it disturbing. Yeah. But let's move on. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed um, lots of it. Uh, but I would say, like, the, I enjoyed it much more in the beginning, uh, towards the middle part, but then it's slowly, like, I lost a little bit of interest. And uh, the, the, the reasons for that is that it became too over the top. Uh, the action, I, uh, people probably love it. Oh, great action set pieces. And, oh, they blow all over the space station. How about that? And, and some of the action scenes I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the acid, uh, jumping through the acid drops scene. I enjoyed um, the scene where the face suggers were under the water. And uh, many scenes I enjoyed, but there was also scenes that I lost interest. And this is over the top. This makes no sense. For instance, towards the end, the, the visor, I think they're called call it, on the space helmet. It uh, gets cracked, and then lots more action scenes come, and then it, she survives, and then it's like, what's the point of showing that the uh, um, visor getting cracked? Because it had no effect to him, and just, oh, and she's close to death, but not really. I also find it interesting how they tied a lot of the alien mysteries and uh, plot points and, and tie them together. Of course, the a original alien movie is mentioned, and then you have the black goo, and towards the end you can see the engineers. So there are a lot of, like, different aspects that are interesting, I guess. But it didn't work. There were, at a certain point, I just got tired of it, I guess. I would say the main problem I had was... How they use, I think they call it fan service, but to me it was more like a fan disservice when they use these metal lines in like almost direct quotes from the other Alien movies. That did not work for me. I, I remember especially one scene that was actually, a, I almost liked it and then it, I didn't like it. And it was a scene where the robot, Andy, falls downward and kills this alien and then he says... Get away from her. And then there's a long pause. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. Uh, because that's how an android would do it. They would say, get away from her. And that's it. But then he said, bitch. Just like in, in Aliens. That, no, this would be so much better if they actually cut out the word bitch. So it would be, this is how a, an android would say it without the swear without the swear, and also with less emotion, because a bitch is like a, when you use a swear, it's an emotional outburst, which of course the robot didn't have, I thought was the point of that scene. But no, they had to say the word bitch too, because, or else we wouldn't get it, do you get it? This is just like in Aliens. And then there was this scene, there were Ash, I want to call him Ash, but you know, Rook, Ash basically resets the lines from Alien. He says that again in this movie. I think actually twice I am ambivalent about this movie. Yes, I am. So I give it 6 out of... Or 7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video.
Uh, if you want to hear more of my opinions on aliens, I have Dr. D and me talks about movies and TV around here somewhere on my channel. I, I think we said some interesting ideas about the alien movies in those Dr. D and me talk about movies and TV. And if they are on my channel, then you should watch them. But if I have removed them, then you know, whatever, it's gone now. You will never see them again. I, I we made a thorough investigation of the Alien franchise. All the movies except this one and of course Romulus which we had just talked about. Yes. I think that was all. <laughs> bye bye.